Hey guys, King Yester here, also known as, and thank you very much for tuning in to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about a load of cool stuff that I found on Amazon, and basically talking about what I'm going to be adding to the setup in the near future. So, let's jump straight into it. Let's begin with the uh, battery case from Empow. So, as you already know, I do own an Amazon Echo, which is sitting right here on the desk. Uh, however, I would occasionally like to take my Amazon Echo around the house or perhaps to work or something, you know, just take it elsewhere other than my house as it is actually a very loud speaker, so I would like to use it as a Bluetooth speaker now and again. Uh, for example, when you're in the shower, maybe you want to listen to very loud, very loud Drake music. So yeah, I bought this battery case from Empow. Now you can watch me, I can unplug my Amazon Echo and it will still work. Alexa, hello. Hi. See, <laughs> I have a full Amazon Echo here, first generation, not second, and there's no cables connected to it. It's all being powered by this MPOW uh, battery base, which is pretty cool. I will be having, I will have a video out about this battery base very soon, as I'm currently like reviewing it, you know, seeing how it's like and stuff. It even has a USB charging port at the back, so you can. As this is basically just a portable um, a power bank. Uh, so not only does it charge your Amazon Echo, but you can also charge your phone or your tablet or anything that uses USB. So yeah, pretty cool product. Right, so here's where it gets exciting. I'm going to be adding another Amazon Echo to my setup, but it's probably an Amazon Echo you haven't heard of before. So, uh, at the moment, this was currently only available in the US, and I'm not sure about any other countries at the moment, <laughs> but it, it, it will be available in the UK, in, on January the 24th, 2018, so that's in 8 or 7 days at the moment, which is very exciting stuff. I will be buying this. I'm gonna probably pre-order it tomorrow, actually, because uh, it's a pretty cool Amazon Echo, uh, I gotta say. I really like the design of it and stuff. I found the product in Random Frank P's setup video, as he's in the US and they already have this available. Uh, but yeah, I found it and in his setup. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, I kind of regret buying this guy here, as this is a 100 pound Amazon Echo. Um, but this Amazon Echo Spot, this new Amazon Echo that's coming out, it has a screen, it looks fantastic. I think it would be a great addition to pretty much anyone's setup in general. It's a very nice piece of kit. So yeah, I'm going to be pre-ordering that and I will have an unboxing video out, a review, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, that will be the next addition to my setup on January the 24th when it gets released. I'm, I'm not sure if it gets delivered to me on January the 24th or, or, or the 25th, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to be buying that in the in the next a, a, a couple of days or so and it will look awesome in the setup. The next thing I'm going to be adding to my setup is Philips Hue. So, if you're familiar with my channel, I currently have a regular LED strip and I've got a uh, Wi-Fi um, controller hooked up to it so I can control my LED strip via Alexa or my phone. Mm -hmm. Alexa, set LED strip to 100% brightness. Sorry, I didn't find TV strip. Alexa, set LED strip to 100% brightness. Okay. There you go. It set the LED switch to 100% brightness and I can also turn the lights off and on in my room and stuff. So yeah, I've got a little adapter that allows me to control my LED strip with either my phone or Amazon Echo right here. So, with Philips Hue, uh, they have actually teamed up with Razer and they've integrated Philips Hue into Razer Synapse 3, which is Razer's new uh, software that they're working on. So, when I do end up buying Philips Hue lighting instead of your... <laughs> um, cheap ass uh, LED strip. I'll be able to control the LED lights on my table and and, and my light bulb with Razer Synapse 3, um, Amazon Echo, a switch on my wall, as well as an app on my phone. So I have plenty of opportunities and ways to control uh, the lights in my room and stuff, which is pretty cool. And because it's Razer Synapse 3, uh, the Philips Hue lighting is also compatible with Razer Chroma. So when you will have, for example, a uh, the spectrum cycling function on Razer Synapse, and all your products are slowly is cycling through all the products, through all the products, through all the different the colors and stuff, the your LED strip and you, even the light in your room can all sync up to Razer Synapse. So it will be pretty cool. So yeah, um, it's going to be a very expensive investment though, as the bridge itself 
costs £42, then the light I'm going to be buying is um, the B22, <laughs> white and colour ambience wireless lighting, so that's another £40. Now <laughs> I need to buy a dimmer switch as well, an LED strip, uh, which I'm going to be buying two of these, one a 2 meter strip and then a 1 meter strip as well. So yeah, and I believe I, I, I might even need some extension cables for the for the LED strip just to keep cable management uh, very nice. So yeah, it's going to be a very expensive investment. I'm guessing it around £200 or £250 pound, just spending on LEDs, on, on LED strips, light bulbs, and bridges and extension cables and stuff just to get Philips Hue set up. However, I will be making loads of videos about it comparing uh, the Philips Hue LED strip to a regular LED strip that I have now. Just loads of stuff, so pretty cool things are coming in the near future uh, in terms of like lighting and LED strips and stuff from Philips Hue. Uh, so yeah, and very cool that they've teamed up with Razer as well. I think last week I asked you in a YouTube poll in my previous video uh, what video I should post in the near future or next or, or whatever I asked in the poll. So the majority of you uh, told me that I should post an unboxing of the NZXT uh, H700i 700i, 700i case. Now I currently have the NZXT H440 uh, case which is very nice. I love the case to bits. It's awesome. However, I would like to upgrade like the case especially, because um, this one is still pretty new, it's come out uh, not too long ago. It has a nice tempered glass side panel, as you guys can see right there. Um, I believe, I, I think the whole case just looks very nice in general. I'm very happy with, with the way it looks. It is very pricey. Uh, I got the NZXT H440 for just under £100, I think. And this one is double the price. <laughs> as two, It's $200 in the US. You'd think it might be cheaper in the UK, however it's also £200 in the UK, unfortunately. But that's alright, uh, it is a very nice case, in my opinion, I hope you guys like it too. And I will be buying this um, in February, or... yeah, yes, I'll, I'll be buying this case in February, and have I'll have an unboxing, maybe even a PC build inside of the case as well. So, so, so it should be pretty cool. Uh, that's So that's one thing I'm going to be changing in, in the setup, is the case. I think this will make the setup look pretty cool. So, next up is, in March, Razer releases their Razer Mamba Hyperflux mounts. Now, in my previous video, I talked about uh, my Razer Mamba dying, and don't worry, Razer is sending me a new mouse, as I've already made this mouse, and they're going to send me a new one in, I think, the next week or so, and I won't have to use this Logitech mouse anymore. So, yeah. Razer are releasing their new Razer Mamba mouse now. This one was released in 2015 and now it's 2018 and they finally updated this mouse. When you buy the mouse you, you get a new Razer Firefly Hyperflux mouse mat and then the Razer Mamba Hyperflux mouse. Now when you pair these two together your mouse is powered uh, via a magnetic field that the mouse mat projects and powers your mouse. Uh, your mouse has no battery inside of it Therefore, it weighs very little, as it says here. The mouse only weighs 96 grams, which is very light, as this one's maybe, I don't know, maybe double that, if not more, uh, as it has a, a, a battery inside. But this, new, but this new Razer Lamba Hyperflux mouse will not have a battery inside, so it, it will not weigh much at all. So if you want to hear more about it, I'll leave a link in the description to my previous video so you, get, so you guys can go check it out on there. So. That's the next addition I'm going to be adding to my setup. This is the most expensive mouse I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it costs £250, but I did ask you guys in a YouTube poll whether you'd like to see an unboxing and a review of the mouse when it comes out, and pretty much everyone said, yes, buy the mouse and make a review and, and an unboxing video when the mouse comes out. So that's what I'm going to be doing in March. I'm not too sure if they have an official release date yet. All they've said is, is coming out in March, so it could be early March or late March, regardless, I will be pre-ordering the mouse and making plenty of videos reviewing it and talking all about it. So yeah, that's one thing I'm going to be doing in March. Another thing I plan on doing is submitting my setup for Setup Wars, which is on TechSource's channel. So, uh, there's an awesome show on YouTube called Setup Wars that I definitely want to participate in in the near future. However, I, will, I think I'm only going to participate in the uh, show 
when I drill a hole in my desk to wrap my keyboard wire through, I'm going to be buying a drill. I'm going to be making a whole video showing you guys me drilling a hole in my desk, hopefully not ruining my desk in the process, just to hide the cable that's sticking out of my keyboard and going through my soundbar. So when I drill the hole in the desk, it will make my keyboard look kind of wireless, <laughs> I hope. Uh, if everything goes well, then it will make my keyboard look wireless, which of course will help with the whole uh, theme I have going on here, super minimalistic setup. There's hopefully no cables in sight at any point. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a, a couple of plans I have for, for the setup. And then late March, I will be picking up a new uh, router as well. Uh, I'm still deciding what I'm actually going to be buying, as I'm not too sure at the moment, but uh, I'm looking at TP-Link um, in particular, as I do have BT Infinity 2 in the UK, and I need a, uh, a DSL connection to my router, so I'll only stick to DSL routers at the moment. So. I've been looking at a few. I still not. I'm still not not too sure uh, what to actually buy, but I'm <laughs> probably I'm going to end up buying either the Ultimate Eight AC Twenty Eight Hundred or the AC Twenty Six Hundred right here. So just uh, you know, either that one or that one. Or if you guys have any other suggestions for uh, ADSL or DSL routers, uh, leave some links in the description down below. I'll be sure to check them out. So. So yeah, I'll be making a video about uh, this new router that I'm going to be buying, either the AC2800 or the 2600. Uh, I'm just kind of comparing internet speeds and seeing if uh, having a much higher end uh, router will improve my ping or my internet speeds or the, well, the uh, reliability of my internet connection at the moment is pretty good in general. It rarely ever goes down, but upgrading to a better router may or may not improve my internet speeds. It probably won't. But regardless, uh, I would like to improve the uh, the uh, Wi-Fi range in, in the house as well. So I will be buying a router in the near future as well, probably late March. I'll be posting a video about the router. So that's currently my plans for the setup. Uh, drilling a hole in my desk, buying myself a new Amazon Echo Spot. Um, I've already bought myself a battery case for my Amazon Echo. Uh, what else am I doing? I'm buying a new mouse from Razer. I'm adding Philips Hue lighting all over the house. So it will, there's a lot of expensive upgrades coming in the near future. However, I think they'll be pretty cool to make. At least the videos will be a lot of fun to make. Having Philips Hue lighting, I can compare Philips Hue to cheap LED strips and stuff. And just, I have lots of videos planned in the near future. That's all you have to know. Uh, and they should be a lot of fun. So thank you very much for watching guys, this has been me just talking about my plans for the setup in the near future and stuff, so yeah, thank you very much for watching once again, I'll see you in another video soon.